Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to our Chat School Online. And today, we are here with my friends. We have Sparkle. Here I am. And we have Baraka. Here I am, here I am. Yes, here, I am. here they are. And we are from PCA Nairobi West Chat School. My name is Teacher Esther. And before we go on, shall we pray? What do we do when we're about to pray? We put our hands together, we close our eyes, bow our heads, and then pray. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we are before you this day just to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for all that you have been for us. We thank you because you have been awesome in our lives. Today, dear Lord, we want to repent of our sins, forgive us and wash us with the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of good health, and even for the gift and the privilege to serve in your vineyard. And now, dear King, in all glory, today I bring the children who are watching us, the parents, and everybody who has come to this program today to to watch it and even to learn more about you, bless them and do them well. As we sit and learn about you, be with us all the way to the end of the program. This is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, guys, what do we say? Baraka? Amen. Spako? Amen. Yes, amen. And now, children, Baraka will lead us with a song that says, when he calls me, I will answer. So Baraka and Sparkle, do you have another friend? Yeah, let us invite our friend Imani. Imani, Karibu. Yeah. As we sing the song that says, when he calls me. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere, working, working somewhere. Working for my Lord. I will somewhere. Working, working somewhere. Working, working somewhere. Working for my Lord. So, Sparkle. Yeah? This is another time for, I think, Bible story. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're a clever boy. Teacher, you forgot. Oh, I'm getting old. Bible story. So let us welcome teacher. Teacher who, Spako? Teacher Leah. Yes. Teacher, why are you forgetting? I'm getting too old, you Spako. You have white hair? Oh, yes, a lot of them, Spako. Sorry. Okay. So, teacher Leah, welcome. Hello boys and girls and welcome to our Bible story section. Today we have a new story lined up for us. But before we go to our lesson for today, do you still remember what we learned last Sunday? Last Sunday we talked about the Tower of Babel and how God sent these confusing languages to those people who disobeyed him. Our story today is coming from the book of Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1 to 9. And it is about a man who was called by God and he became a servant. Children, a servant is a person who works or works for someone for money, either for money or willingly. But this case, in this case, you are going to see about a man who was called Abram, who was called by God. And when he was called, Abram was living in a land that was called Ur. He was born and raised in a land where people didn't worship God. They actually worshipped idol gods. And so children, Abraham's father was an idol worshipper. And on this particular time, God told Abraham to go to a land that he was going to show him. And what Abraham did 
was just to obey and put his trust in God. And so children, if you remember in our previous lessons, we were told about the promises God made to, to Adam and Eve in the garden when he sent them out of the garden of Eden. And God had promised them something. He told them that there was going to be a savior who was coming, who will come later and defeat Satan and he was going to be the savior of mankind. And so at this particular time, God had a plan, and that is why he called Abraham. And Abraham was going to be a leader of a nation, and this was going to be called a, a chosen generation who God was going to love. And so Abraham is, going, is being told to move from his homeland, and he obeys, and he leaves his home with his servants, with his wife, with his nephew who was called Lot and you can see these were many many people who it was a long long uh, it was a long journey that Abraham was going to go with his family with his servants and so he went for a journey uh, along a journey that he didn't know but the good thing about Abraham was that he trusted upon this God who he did not see or know but he he put his trust in this God and so Abraham left his homeland and went and God had told him, I'm going to show you where you're going. And so children, it's important to note that he didn't know where he was going. Other, other than just being told to go, he didn't know exactly the place where he was going. But God was sending Abraham to a country that was called Canaan. And children, after Abraham obeyed and heeded the call of God, he changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. And he became, uh, he started on a journey with God and God gave and made many promises to Abraham. The first one he made he was going to make Abraham a great name. From Abraham he was going to make a great name from him. He was also going to bless him with the land for his descendants. And also God told Abraham that he was going to bless anyone who blessed him or cast anyone who cast Abraham. And so children, as Abraham walked in this journey, he had hope in this God. He had faith that whatever it was that God promised him, he was going to fulfill it. And so Abraham is walking and going, tired, and every day they could not walk for long because the procession was too long. Remember, he had some animals, he had his servants, he had his nephew and his wife. And so the journey was not going to be easy for him. And so children, there are many times they would spend the night in the tents. Remember, he had left his home, his comfortable home, and he was spending nights in tents, sometimes in the wild, but God never left him. And so Abraham continued doing what God had told him. He continued obeying and putting his trust fully and completely in God. And maybe you ask yourself, how could Abraham just follow a voice he was hearing and had not even known? As we had said earlier, Abraham had been brought up not knowing there was a true God. And in the, in the, in the, sto in the story as we began, we were told that Abraham's father used to worship the moon and so he was, uh, the, he had grown not knowing the Lord, but he had chosen to listen to the voice of God and he followed God without any questions. And so children, we as children, we are on a life in this journey. And there are times when God tells us to do things that we do not even understand. There are times when God tells us to do things that we think in our hearts we are not able to do them. Remember Abraham was called by God when he was 75 years old. And it is, it's true to say that he was an old man in those days. Although we don't know how, we know he lived for 175 years, but he lived a life that was with a lot of faith in, in this God who called him. And so as I said earlier that we are living in a life's journey and every day we make steps, we, we need to listen to the voice of God when he's talking to us, when he's telling us to do, it is always important to obey to God's voice because when we obey God, he's able to guide us, he's able to protect us, he's able to show us the way as Abraham did. He wants us to follow him in everything that we do. Because when you follow Jesus, he's able to make us part of his family. And how does God make us part of his family, children? God makes us part of his family through his son, Jesus Christ. And when we believe and confess about the love of Jesus, we are able to be made 
part of God's family. When we are part of God's family, he's able to release his blessings upon our lives. Why? Because we are his children. And so when we receive Jesus as our savior, we have the privilege of being called his children. And children, there are many ways we can serve God when we are young or we are old. It doesn't matter the age that you are in. God can call us. He can give us instructions in life. And all we need to do for us to be close to God is to follow and trust in Jesus without asking any questions. We can serve God by reading and studying the word of God. We can serve God by helping others. We can also serve God by being obedient to those in authority over us. We can also serve God by sharing and testifying about the goodness of God. And that children, it is how we are able to grow or draw closer to God. And he's also able to bless us with the many blessings he has promised us, just as he did to Abraham. He can still use us and use us in a mighty and a big way. Abraham was blessed because he obeyed and trusted in God fully without asking questions. So children, even us, if you learn to trust in God without asking questions, believing that he who called us, we may not know what the future holds or what we may find on the way, but one thing is for sure. If we put our trust 100% in Jesus, he will always guide our way and we will never be defeated. So we are part of the descendants of Abraham because God had promised him that he's going to give him many descendants. And that is why we are part of that generation because God has fulfilled the promises he gave to Abraham. So children, whatever promises God gives, they are not false. They will come to be fulfilled. And that brings us to a memory verse, children, which comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 12 and verse 2. And the Bible says, I will give you many descendants and they will bless you and make your name famous so that you will be a blessing. Children, we can say that again. Memory verse from the book of Genesis, 12 and verse 2 and the bible says i will give you many descendants and they will bless you and make your name famous so that you will be a blessing and until next time children god bless you wow is the time for did you know and now children welcome to the did you know section and children, did you know that Abraham was a patriarch of the Abrahamic faith, which includes Islamic and Judaism before he was called? I thought you should know. So children, we heard the story about how Abraham obeyed the voice of God and he agreed to leave his whole place and went to a place where God led him. We saw great obedience of Abraham. Thank you, Teacher Lea, for that story. And now we are going to have a song that says, Father Abraham, Sparkle. Who leads us with that song now? Oh, teacher. Yes. Baraka was sleeping, but oh. let him. We call Baraka. Oh, okay. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So we are going to sing the song that says, Father Abraham. Are we ready? Yes. yes. All right, we go together. Father, Father Abraham, Abraham had many sons, had many sons. sons. So Father Abraham, I am one, one of them, them. And, and so are you. So let us praise the Lord. Right hand, Father Abraham, yes. had many sons. Many sons so of Father Abraham, Ooh, I am one of them, uh -huh. and so are you. So let us praise the Lord. Right hand, left hand, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons so of Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let us praise the Lord. Right hand, left hand, right foot, Father Abraham. Had many sons, many sons of Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let us praise the Lord. Sparkle, yeah. what do you think 
is coming up next? Oh, let me think. Mm -hmm. Is it my story? No, 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 oh, no. Is it uh, Baby Club? Yes, you are the smart boy. Now it's time for Bible craft children and teacher Peter is going to show us how to make something. So let's keep watching. So. Thank you, teacher Esther. Thank you, Sparkle. Welcome, teacher Peter. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our Bible craft section, where we craft God's word. In our last lesson, we looked at the Tower of Babel, and you made some nice crafts of the Tower of Babel. And so today, children, or boys and girls, we have learned about the call of Abraham. And we are reminded that when God calls us, we need to hear and listen, and we need to, to heed to the call or to follow what God is calling us for. And so today, because of that, we are making the ears which are reminding us that when God calls us, we need to listen just like Abraham did. And so for you to be able to make these big ears, what do you need? You'll need to have the papers from which you'll cut the strip of paper, and you'll as well need to have one A4 paper, the glue stick, a marker pen, a pair of scissors, and some crayons. But so today we'll not make use of all the crayons, we'll only make use of the brown crayon. And so once you have all your things put together, it's now time to work on the big ears, which are reminding us that when God calls us, we need to listen. So take your A4 paper. Today I've decided to make use of a, a white one. You can make use of any color that is around you. So pick your A4 paper, fold it into two halves. When an A4 paper is folded into two halves, it gives you an A5 paper. So the essence is for you to fold it into, uh, into two halves so that it gives you an A5 paper. Then pick your uh, marker pen. And once you pick your marker pen, it's now time to draw the ears. So you'll draw the ears up. And right there, then you'll draw, make, putting in a few more details of the ear, and right there. So then you'll pick your scissors, then you'll cut around the ear. So cut around, cut around the figure that you have drawn of the ear. So you'll cut, 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 cut around. Then you'll need to cut off this edge so that they turn into two ears. So again, do the same on the other one. So you'll turn the other one on the other side and put in a bit of details for the ear. Uh, a bit of details for the ear. Then you'll pick your brown Crayon, and you'll be able to put in a few more details so that they look exactly like ears. Uh, what I'm doing is that I'm tracing on the lines that I had earlier on drawn using the marker. And then after that, I'll be able to color the ears with the color brown, but this time in a fa very faint color brown, just in a faint way so that we they are more pronounced and you can see that it is an ear. So I'll work on the ears other one. Then once you are done with the coloring of the ears, you'll pick your papers, the ones that you will be cutting off the strips. So I have two of them because they are, uh, if it's an A4 paper, just make sure that you cut your strips nicely. With your scissors, you cut through, cut through. So we have the strips of paper with us. Then pick your glue stick. Then it's now time to put together 
the two strips of paper. So I have the two strips of paper put together and make sure that you try it on your head so that you know it can fit around your head. So that makes sure that I ha it can fit on my head. Then I'll be able to glue from this end and make a circle. Make a circle. So here I have the circle. Then I'll pick the ears and attach them to the circle. And attach them to the circle. So I'll put the glue and put the glue so that I'll be able to attach them to the circle. So I'll attach it on that side and this other one on this other side. And so I have the two ears that I have already done. One on this side on the left and the other one on the right. So I have them right there. And once we have finished that, make sure that you pack up everything and clean up your space, what you have been using. With the marker pen, I write, listen to God's call. Listen to God's, listen to God's call. If you want to, you can easily also add in a few more colors uh, to the strip of paper. If you want to add in a few more colors, you can easily do that so that uh, it looks more colorful. So I've used color orange, color green, color purple, just to make it a bit more colorful. And again, make sure that you write in your name. My name is Teacher Peter, so I'll write here Teacher Peter. And so here are the big ears that we had made earlier on, and here are the ears that I've just made. And the big ears are reminding us that when God calls us, we need to listen. So I can easily put them right there. And so the ears are reminding us that when God calls us, we need to, see, to listen. And so boys and girls, we are always, always excited to see your work. If you want us to see the work that you have done, reminding us that when God calls us, we need to listen, please send your work to this number that is appearing on the screen right now. Thank you and God bless you. Children, we have come to the end of our lesson today. I feel sad to leave you. Don't you feel the same? Yes. 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 My friends, Sparkle and Baraka, and I'm sure Imani, wherever she is, they all feel bad to leave you. But then we have no choice but to leave. But before we go, shall we pray and say thank you to God for bringing us this far? So put your hands together, close your eyes, and bow our heads. Father, in Jesus' name, we are thankful to you for everything that you have taught us today. Thank you for teaching us about the call of Abraham. Help us to be like Abraham, to be obedient, to hear your voice and to follow you. Now, Father, we pray that you remember our parents, our teachers, our siblings, and all our friends. Remember them and even bless them. As we disperse, dear Lord, dismiss us with your love. When we meet again, dear Lord, we shall be careful to thank you and to lift your holy name. For this is our prayer of faith in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now may the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. amen and amen and amen. And now children, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Baraka. Like our Facebook page. Sparkle. Share, share with your friends, neighbor and everyone. Yes. So children, until next time, 
Have a lovely time. May God bless you. And remember, stay, stay safe. Bye-bye.